Hola Mike, espero que estés bien. Me gusta mucho tu lugar y me gustaría venir a grabar aquí. ¿Está bien? Sí. Ah, qué bueno. Muchísimas gracias, de verdad. Yo sé que tienes un lugar grande con muchos animales que son muy caros. ¿Eso es cierto? Sí. Ah, man. No sé por qué, pero tengo el presentimiento de que no me entiendes. ¿Si ¿Sí hablas español? Sí, Juan. Sí. Ok, entonces, uh, ¿me regalarías toda tu colección? Sí, Juan. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm getting new reptiles. What? All right, so since I was just threatened by the entire family, you know, they're gonna kick my ass if I, if I take any of the animals, I will not be getting any new reptiles. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and I show you at least, uh, you know, this facility, because this place is amazing. Not just the animals, but the setups. So, let's go ahead. This is Varanus Mertensi, uh, the Mertens water monitor from Australia. And these are my F1s, so these are three-year-old babies that I produced myself, and now they're my breeders. So, and you can see my beautiful fish down there. I got Denisoni barbs, Odessa barbs, Firemouth cichlids. There's a rainbow shark in there, some upside down cats. <laughs> Get this one out of the way. Woo! Fast. Yep. And that one is not playing around. No, the Mertens lose their mind when they're feeding. Now the one in the hole. If this one. <laughs> If this one lets it, no, okay, like no, that's mine. I want to to have some fun feeding something? It's always my color lizard. Yeah. Always. Nope. Nice. Oh, he's holding. Oh, that was fast. Yeah. That's a male. I'm gonna give her another one over here. This is Lemonhead. Like oh, nothing. 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 And I keep my males lean. So uh, yesterday he got about five quails, and today he get the one rat. That's it for him. Nice. For tomorrow. Well, he'll get more quail. <laughs> so he, this is a uh, Varanus coming eye from the Philippines. This is a Philippine golden water monitor. There's my big male down there. You saw him eating. Uh, in one of the previous shots and when he's got a full belly he just likes to go down there and relax and one of my most prized possessions is my ship your reptiles banner signed by Chad Brown himself number 94 from the NFL love that guy this one yeah, this, this setup is beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is a Varanus similis spotted tree monitor from New Guinea and northern Australia in the tropical region. Uh, that's my favorite species of monitor. Real little small bulldogs. <laughs> cool. Nice. That's my favorite species. And you got, um, I got a trio uh, as well? I I believe that this is a, a male, and that's a male. Oh. But the little one that I have is a female for sure. So nice. 2.1, and I plan on getting more. So Nice. More female. So right here we have, um, this is Varanus bivitatis from Java. 
and this girl is gravid. You can see how plump she is, and she's doing a lot of digging. So hopefully tonight's the night where I get uh, her clutch. Last clutch she gave me 15 eggs. 15 eggs. 15 eggs, as big as the palm of your hand. They're big. All right, so this is one of the whiskey barrel displays that I made with Zupoxy. Um, and I have Amazon milk frogs in here. You can see the female up on the top, and the male is the smaller guy there. They give me literally tens of thousands of eggs, and I've gotten one to a froglet, and I just gave it to a, my son's friend. But uh, it's a beautiful species, such a cool little animal. And a really cool cage. That's what I like is the cage. This is my female Varanus coming eye. She's uh, about a two year old, a little two plus. Uh, that's a female. She's my future breeder. And uh, we fed her earlier. I'm sure that'll be in the video somewhere, but just a beautiful, beautiful species of Varanus from the Philippines. Okay, since uh, we just fed her three quails, and I forgot to press record, I'm, we're gonna do only one. Oh man. Ah, perfect shot anyways. Look at that. Look at that beautiful face. <laughs> oh man. And another one, all right. She's growing anyways. Yep. Shh, look at those colors. We'll eat that again tomorrow. Three quails and, a, and an egg. What I have here is uh, this is a hatchling rack that I've made. You can see all three tubs are complete water bottom. Uh, they're all on a drain. And this is for raising up my hatchlings. I usually keep my um, coming eye here, sulfurs, and baby mertens. And uh, then my tree boas are up there. But yeah, this is a nice little rack for raising up your babies to help socialize them real well. See them up there to the left? Mm -hmm. I'm going to focus more on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's my incubator. Homemade incubator, as you can see. I got plenty of eggs in there. I got um, a clutch of uh, sulfurs, another clutch of sulfurs, Merton's coming eye, more Merton's coming eye, and another clutch of sulfurs here. Um, yeah, lots and lots of eggs. And then this is the old barrel that I used to bring, another whiskey barrel that I used to bring and display my Audatrias, Ackies, and Kimberly Rocks and stuff. Um, but when I got rid of them, I love my cage. I didn't want to get rid of my cage, so I had to figure out what, what can I put in this cage. And I came up with anthill pythons. And as you can see, they're just really cool little pythons. It's the world's smallest python. Um, and then they have a little moist hide underneath. Just a really cool setup. Cool little um, pythons from Australia. So this is a... Um, Another Javan Bivitatis sulfur water monitor from Java again. Um, I was raising this up in hopes that it would be a female. It turns out the two hatchlings I had are both males, so this one has a questionable fate here at Mike's Monitors. And then here is my male sulfur water monitor. His name is Kingpin, and um, he's a... Uh, responsible for all the hatchlings here at Mike's Monitors. Um, he's my largest male. Come on, King. Come on, Kingpin. Coming out. Oh yeah, that's a big lizard.
Yeah, these sulfurs are really docile. Such incredible animals. They get so big and they're, uh, they're very gentle. Never enough. This this guy would literally eat 15, 20 quails. <laughs> All right, you're dumb, dude. Brazilian rainbow boas. Um, that is my female, one of my females, and my male is in the back there. That's just a great species of uh, boa. Real good eaters, real nice and tame. A beautiful, beautiful. When you get them out in the sun, they're just, they have an iridescence on them that'll blow your mind. And next year I'll be breeding those. These are Varanus togianus. These are, um, from the Togian Islands. Now there's a couple forms of these. Uh, these are from the Togian Islands. So these are really nice black and white ones. And um, there's a mainland Sulawesi form. It's kind of like a tea brown. And not as pretty as these. These ones here are just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, they're really shy. They're fresh imports. All right, so this is the end of the video. And there actually aren't as many setups as there used to be, you know, because uh, actually Mike used to work a lot with um, dwarf, uh, different species of dwarf monitors. Now, uh, he let them go, you know, it was a little bit too much. Uh, you know, they breed like crazy. They are like like a human teenager. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, still this place, man, doesn't lose quality. This place is amazing. Thank you, you know, um, if I ever win the lottery, I would like, actually like to make a place like this, right? Well, Mike, if there's anything that I, you would like to say. Just thank you for coming by. Anytime you want one, you're always welcome here at my house. Um, and I'll keep feeding your um, your lizard dreams for this stuff. And when you're ready for <laughs> monitors, come and see Uncle Mike. I got you. I think I will. Absolutely. Well, all right, guys. This is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next week.